As mentioned earlier in this video series, we're going to be showing you how to get bursaries working from the lighting desk. The only difference from a normal FB4 and a bursary is the additional four channels, which has the blinder and the three channels for the diffraction grating. Um, it's super easy to check that you've got it all enabled from Beyond the Quick Show, and we're going to show you how to do that right here. Um, so we're in Beyond at the moment, but I'll show you Quick Show just after. Make sure our laser is all connected in Beyond the Quick Show mode. Go to File, FB4 Settings. Make sure they're all connected, and we've got all the right IPs that we mentioned earlier to be working with Artnet. Let's close that. Settings, Jet Settings, and here are FB4, FB4s for the Westbury. So what you'll find on the top right here is FB4 Serial Port. We want to make sure on each one of our Westbury's we've got this enabled. If we don't have this enabled, we won't be able to get control of the blinder or the diffraction grating. Um, so each one of these enabled, enabled, enabled. It's good to check here. If, if you want all your lasers to be doing the same blinder effect, so it, channel 1 will control all the blinders, you can set them all the same here, but we want individual control of each laser so we get the most out of our show. So what we've done here is every every four channels we've added another um, starting address just there, just there, and just there. Then click OK. That's set. That's now saved to the laser. So I'm going to go to back to FB4 settings. I'm going to select all these and go onto Artnet mode, ready for the lighting desk. And always a great way to check the Artnet mode. Just go onto the laser, the Artnet, Artnet settings. We want to set our universes to be what we want, and the statues to be correct as well. So we're going to change that. If we want, we'll start this laser, we'll start dress one, and then we'll change the other three lasers to be what we want them to be. So that's how we adjust the serial port through Beyond, and FB4 serial port DMX with three projector settings. We'll close that, and I'll show you how to do it in Quick Show. We'll close that, make sure it's not connected anymore. Not there. Open Quick Show. All the lasers are connected down here. In future versions of Quick Show, we're hoping that the FB4 serial report will come up here, like it is in Beyond, but it doesn't for the moment. So if you're running Quick Show, this is how you do it. So you're going to FB4, FB4 browser, and we've got all our FB4s here. So we've got our settings folder, settings file here. So we're going to save that to the desktop. And we're going to have to do this one by one, um, just any way to currently do it. So we go there, go to our settings. And here we are. This is basically all the data we've got on FB4 for the settings. So a DMX patch, DMX patch length. This is the for changing the diffraction and blinder, starting address, etc. Whatever is here um, is to do with your profile that you control it from the desk and obviously the DMX start address. But this is this area here is what we want to change. So we want four channels to be controlled and we want them to start at channel 17 for diffraction and the blinder. So if we're all happy with that, close that. Upload. Um, load our settings. Would you like to override the existing files? Yes, because we've made a change. And there we go. And we do that for each one. It's quite simple and straightforward. Close that. And we're done. So let's start. So now we're on the desk. So super simple, this is actually the same steps as last time. So we're going to go to patch, fixtures, we're going to search for command, first three, just there. Exactly the same as last time. If you want to use 43 channel, feel free to. But we're going to use the setup part and the playback part. So we're going to patch our setup. Patch our playback. We're going to repeat that process three times until we have all four of our fixtures. <clears throat> and we're back to normal. So, what we're going to do is set our legends as we did earlier. On when it was just normal FB4. So 
I'm going to call this one BB setup one. I'm set that one. You can obviously call it whatever you like. BB playback one. And you repeat this process across all of them, see so you know which ones they are. Then you can put them into groups just down here. You can repeat this process three times until we've got all our playbacks and setups all, all set legend and labeled. And then after that, we're going to record them into a group down here so it's easy recall if you've got lots of other fixtures in your rig. So there we have it, all our setups and playbacks have been recorded and it all corresponds to the right address on the laser. So we've got all our playbacks and setups just here and we're going to record that into a group and we're going to choose that group just there. And we're going to record all our playbacks together. One, two, three, four. And record that into a group just there. So now we've got all that into our groups and all our playbacks and groups are all separate and we can go and make sure all our alternate is working fine. So if we go to AVO key and setup, network settings, make sure we're in the right, sub, um, right IP address range, which we are, DMX settings, and here we go, we can see all our bursaries, um, which is just here. So we're doing one for 20, one for 30, one for 40, one for 50. But for this instance, we're broadcasting, but you can if you want to. Just as easy to select all your nodes, just like that. So now that we're all happy, that our nodes are all connected with the, with the laser and the desk, we close that. We're going to do exactly the same as we did earlier with the normal FP4. We're going to set a test pattern, we're going to set our safety zone, then we're going to get some output. So I'm going to ignore this part because it's exactly the same as last time. So what you're going to see here is how we get control of the additional channels. For everything else, it's in the previous part of the video because it's exactly the same. So now I've got control of the blinder um, function. I'm just going to show you how to get control of the grating effect, which is super easy. So we've got a bit down here, which is under the special button, which is just here on the desk. but there on the console. Grating. So we ha it's important that, that you understand that we have to output content for the grating to work. So say you're outputting a white circle, it's going to split it into its three native colours. So red, green, blue. Obviously if you're using RGBY fixture, it's going to do RGBY, which you'll get some super cool effects out of. Um, but for this one, so we're going to make sure we have got some content coming out. So we're going to do, as I said, a circle. Make sure so you can see there, I've got a circle coming out. Just make sure our blinder is off. And just want the circle. So there we go. So you see here, I'm going to drop in the grating. Just going to spin and counterclockwise. Can change the speed. Go really fast. Or get to its, uh, its normal speed. And obviously the great thing about having from light desk and the, the way of getting easy control, you can grab control of each fixture and obviously you can have some going counterclockwise, clockwise, some going the other. 
So, or just a few. We've got some going one way, or some going the other, which is super cool. So, the fun is simply endless. And this is the Kavant Burst refixture, which you've got Artnet in. And obviously, Beyond and Quick Show Mode, and all the other FB4 features except Elder input and DMX 5 pin input. So, of course, I'm going to mention the great shape generator into, built into Titan. So, a playbacks, shape and effects, shape generator, create what you know, I've got here. So, what we want is a dimmer. Obviously, we just want to get our blinders working. So, dimmer, dimmer spread. So our sub fixtures are going to be our blinder effect because it's a sub of the laser of the laser, so it's not the main thing of the laser. So we've got an effect going at the moment. And just the spread, so four fixtures. So we've got a spread going on now, which is cycling between all four. So as well as the blinder. And obviously put our diffraction grating into the shape generator to do dimmer spreads, etc. So make sure we've got it selected there. Shape effects, shape generator, create, dimmer, and we want to do a dimmer. If a spread, dimmer, you've got loads of choices. But let's do a dimmer pulse. So we can use that. Edit it, select shape. Now different shapes, dimmer. Do a step up, do my pulse. Yeah, there's lo loads of choices. Do a stroke. Yeah, so we can really add a unique show every time we use the lasers.